Uh, I was asked to do some basic sound things in Python. Um, and so uh, we're going to do some very simple sound manipulation. Uh, and uh, very quickly, we run into a sort of ceiling of things that are easy to explain. And if this piques your interest, there are other packages that are much more mm, uh, complete in their coverage. And I can show you how to get those and install them. But it's a process. So we're going to keep it quite simple for the next uh, half an hour. Um, and basically what we're going to do is uh, show how to open a WAV file, do things with the contents of the WAV file, and then make a new WAV file with what we've done. So pretty si does, does everyone know, uh, before I get into that even more, um, let me say first, if I say something that confuses you, please stop me and ask immediately. And, Red cards. And, yeah, and, and, and second, does everyone know what a WAV file is? No? Okay, so... Yes, I know what the wave file is. Right. But I don't know what it's Right, okay. Well, if you don't know how to do the things, that's, that's okay. But is it, so, so when we have, a, when we have a, a, an audio file, right, a wave file, there are sort of two, two things that are different, uh, that are in the file. One thing is the audio, the actual audio data. And another thing, in the front of the file, there's this thing that's called a header. And the header has data about the audio, right? So not actually the audio, but data about the audio, right? And those two things. And so if we open up a Python interpreter, inside of Python there's a package that's called wave. It's very cleverly named. So we can get that in like this. So, and wave has uh, tools to help you uh, open and do things with the data, the audio data, and the header information separately, right? And that's the thing that's different than when we were opening files earlier this week, and they were just text. So then all we have is the text, right? There's nothing, there's no, no special information that's separate. There's just the text, right? So, so to open a WAV file, uh, you do something uh, that looks like this. So we have reader equals wave.open, right? So it's just, just, just like the open that we were using before for the text files, uh, but now it's just it's from this WAV package, right? Um, and so then we'll put a file name. Uh, I'm not in the right place. Hold on a second. So if you, I should actually pause. So I, I have four very small WAV files. You don't need them to follow along, but if you want the exact WAV files I'm going to use, uh, uh, they're at this address right here. I'll put all of this stuff up on the web. So, the so it's, it's two megs of data. You can get it now, you can get it later. Uh, there's nothing in particular about those WAV files, but if you go, this is my web page, uh, somesoundsample.zip, you can, you can grab them uh, and follow along exactly. Uh, this works with any particular WAV file. Fine. Uh, sorry, let me leave that up. Um. So if... Uh, uh, sorry, hold on. So let me go to that directory. Right. So if I go into Python and I import the wave package, and I have a reader, and so we're going to open this one. It's called some noise dot wave. And we'll open it in read mode, just like so. So you'll notice that the the sort of uh, uh, the syntax of this call is identical to the way that you would open a text file with the sort of built-in normal open that we used earlier this week. Yeah. So we open this, and so reader now is is uh, um, a sort of way to look at that file. So reader has a number of uh, uh, things that we can investigate. So if we do oh, reader. So, and here we'll see there's, there's a bunch of stuff about the reader, right? And actually what we want in particular are some functions down here. So there's these things called getters, right? Get and then things. And so that the, the header of the WAV file uh, tells you a few things. We care in particular about three things about the WAV file. We care about the sample rate. Does everyone know sample rate? Yeah? So sample rate is how quickly the, the data is delivered in the audio. Uh, and we care about the number of channels. So nominally, there's just one. It's mono. There's two left and right for stereo. Or a WAV file could have five. 
right? But so the number of channels, and that's in the header, and also the sample width, right? So so that's that's how how big the numbers are that are uh, describing the sound in the file, right? And so in most cases, if it's like a CD quality audio, right, this is 16 bit or two bytes. Annoyingly, they like to use it in number of bytes. So uh, so we can get all three of those things with these things that are getters, right? So here we have git sample width. Uh, this one, yeah, can everybody see that? Um, uh, and git get and channels will tell us the number of channels, and git frame rate or yeah, git frame rate will tell us the uh, the the frame rate, the sample rate. Uh, so we can go back to here and out of there, and so we can do reader dot git frame rate. Right, 44 kilohertz WAV file, very very standard sort of thing, right? We can do the same thing with the number of channels, and similarly, <coughs> annoyingly, this is just sample width. Apparently, they can't spell sample completely, and that's two. Now that's two bytes, which is 16 bit, which is probably more. Like if you look at a CD, it's a 16 bit. I don't know why we're talking bytes all of a sudden and not bits, but it's fine. So, so those are the sort of three bits of detail you need to get out of the header to do anything with the data. The other thing, of course, that you want is the actual audio data. Okay, so how do you get the audio data? Well, so the, the open, uh, uh, in addition to, to being able to read a line, which is a notion that makes sense in text, uh, you can also just read in raw bits, raw data, and, and you just specify how much data you want, and it just gives you the data. Uh, Normally, we sort of interact in lines, where you know a line is defined as, well, you hit carriage return and you get another line, so you can define the end. You can't really define the end like that with an audio file. It just goes until you hit the end of the file. So what you can say is you can say reader.getn frames. Right? So, so what you're saying here in a frame uh, is a frame is, is one sample of every single channel. Right? So one frame in two channels of audio is two pieces of information. The information you know about the left channel at that moment in time and the information you know about the right channel at that moment in time, right? So, so we can say get n frames and that n frames can be uh, up to and including the, the total of the file, right? So, so the, and what this is going to do is it's going to give us from where we are in the file right now, which is the beginning. Yes, please. So does get n frames tell us how many frames there are or no. does it get us a bunch of frames? It gets us a bunch of frames. Bad name. So, so I mean that's I, true. I, I so, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ab absolutely. Of so, and 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 uh, oh, actually, hold on. Was that my that my mistake? Hold on, let me here. And I, I think. I, uh, so let me say up front that, that this is not how I usually interact with audio, and I may make a couple of excellent screw ups because uh, I use the uh, slightly more uh, complicated oh, things. Good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So, yeah. So get n frames uh, gives you the, the total number of frames in the audio, and then get frames. I believe, or sorry, it's read frames. Read frames reads the number of frames. So, so right, because it's a getter. So it does what you think it would do. Okay. Uh, so, so this one, get n frames. And in fact, it, what it should tell me is that I have five seconds of audio at 44.1, which it does. So this is exactly five seconds of 44,100 samples per second, <coughs> i.e. 220,500 frames, right? So um, and and so so readers in Python when you open something and you have a reader there's there's a notion of where it is in the file that moves along as you read things and we got to ignore this earlier in the week but unfortunately in this instance you kind of have to know you have to deal with this a little bit um, and so when you open a file it starts at the beginning and then you can move it along um, and it moves along automatically when you read some stuff in so if I say data actually how about audio data equals reader dot read frames. And I want to read one second of audio, right? So one second of audio uh, in frames, that's going to be the sample rate, the frame rate, right? Because that frame rate is in times per second. So so this is 44.1. Remember, we read that up here, 44.1. So I can say 44.100. Uh, that could be a variable later, right? And so now audio data has the first 44,100 frames, that is uh, the bytes times samples, of audio in that variable. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, I hesitate to show you because it's a mess. Uh, so, so 
What if is you, audio data of zero at this point? Of, is, it, is, it a, is it a list with one entry per frame? Right. So this is we, we, uh, I will discuss this, and then we will we will close our eyes for the rest of the talk because it's worth knowing that there are dragons over here. Um, so, and in fact, if I if I give you a bit, say, so this is the first this is the first ten. 10 bytes of audio that, were that, that are in that audio data. And uh, you'll note it's a string, okay? So, so what Python is doing here, this is like a string buffer, which is the thing that Python does. It's a sort of like, uh, uh, well, basically they're taking data they want and they're sort of beating it into a Python uh, 